Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Simona and this is Scent Talk from my closet. And on this channel, we talk about all things fragrance. We go over layering combos. Uh, we talk about niche fragrances, designer fragrances. We go over uh, lotions and hair oils and, and body oils and all things fragrance. If it involves fragrance, we're going to talk about it on this channel. So if that is something that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then also to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which one we're going to go over next or deep dive into next. And this week we have been going with Oksha. We have been doing a deep dive into Oksha's perfume house. So what they do is inspired by fragrances. And, uh, you know, if you're anything like me, once you fall in love with a scent, you just, you have to, you have to have it and you cannot run out. That is the way that I feel about my favorite favorite scent profiles. Um, I also kind of get fixated on scent profiles and stick to that one. One, you know, like, oh, I want, I want that scent, but different, but in the same realm, you know? So I, that's kind of the way that I do my perfume shopping and I always have. So it's nothing new. I'm not doing it just for the channel. This is me. This is, this is my fragrance journey playing out, you know, in real life, uh, but now sharing it with people uh, because, you know, I used to come in here to the closet and really uh, kind of did, like I'd have got this sampler pack and I'd have been giving myself my thoughts throughout the whole week and trying to decide, you know, whether anything was full bottle worthy, whether, you know, who, if I wanted to tell a friend about it, you know, so kind of thing. And now I get to come and still talk to myself in the closet about the fragrances. Uh, however, <laughs> I do get to talk to somebody else, actually. There, you guys are right in front of me, kind of. You're with me and uh, you get to, you, you Whoa, something's funny and you leave comments and we're interacting I am really enjoying the interaction thank you so much I this is why I started doing this is so that I could meet other fragrant fanatics and, and and make fragrant friends so thank you guys um this week we are definitely going and really exploring Oksha we started on Sunday so there's already been a few videos this is part five of six tomorrow will be the last part to Oksha and um I'm not going to, I always want to be true and genuine, of course, you know, uh, to, with my reviews, if something did not go the distance, if did, something did not last, you know, for more than two, three hours, I'm not going to say that it did. If, if I didn't, if it did and I didn't enjoy the scent profile, that's a different story, uh, because that's my taste, my likes, you know, my own opinions. Uh, but I'll definitely go over the notes and all that goodness with you. So this will probably be the first video um, of that sort where I really didn't, I'm going to talk about a couple of these fragrances, but I did not get to wear test them. And let me tell you guys why. Okay, so this morning, get into it. And we have Torrid Day, which ironically, okay, I was like, what does Torrid mean? I've heard it before, but what does it mean? What is the definition of Torrid? So Torrid means very hot and dry. So I was like, okay, I get it, you know, tobacco, and, uh, kind of being lit and hot and dry. However, the British, uh, the British definition is the one that I'm resonating with because it means full of difficulty or tribulation. And so ever since I did that MFK Silk Mood and it did not go, go well, if it's a scent that I'm iffy about, that I don't know how it's going to go on my chemistry, I will try and try it out the night before or uh, the morning of, you know, on my hand. And that's what I did this morning. So here we have Torrid Day. And this is the dupe for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanier. And it is a very popular fragrance, um, you know, amongst both, you know, men and women. And, and you know, it really, it's a unisex fragrance. Um, a lot more men seem to gravitate towards it, but they had, ah, they had recommended that it, to me, you know, one of the perfume groups, they mentioned that it went very well with Love Don't Be Shy. And I love Love Don't Be Shy. And I want to start kind of experimenting with layering combos with Love Don't Be Shy. So far, the only thing that I've really experimented with is mixing it with Princess by Killian. Um, so Love Don't Be Shy by Killian with Princess by Killian. Um, but yeah, I want to kind of give give you guys also some some options because there's gonna be a lot of people out there smelling like love. Don't be shy. So I like to make fragrances my own. 
Um, there's actually one combo that I haven't divulged uh, to you guys. So keep watching. Uh, during Killian week, I'll definitely touch base on this layering combo that I really don't believe I've shared with anybody. Um, and it's one that my husband just loves on me. Okay. Anyways, Torrid Day. Oh my goodness. So I put this on my hand. Okay. And I'm going to close it now because I did open it this morning and I left it like that. So I managed to open it. I think I have found the key to opening these lovely things uh, that I've been hating on all week. So this one's kind of empty. So you got to grab it from here. You see that? And then you're going to, you're going to push it up from there and I'm still struggling and you're gonna push it up it worked it worked for the torrid day I promise you that it did anyway so um grab it from here and push it up I kind of tilt it and wow this is worse than one of them uh you know I'm a nurse so uh, one of those glass ampules that you have to break to get the medicine out the the, the injections like the b12 injections that you go you know and you're there in suspense because you're like I don't want to kill my thumb again like I'm not gonna cut it I, I don't want to cut it <laughs> oh anyways um yeah I couldn't open that that's just goes to so this is kind of empty got it Imagine if it had been full of liquid. It would have just gone everywhere. Oh, that's so annoying. So this is what I did in place of these ridiculous dabbers that were just, ugh. I poured that. That one was the Blue Stallion. I poured that in here. And I gave this quite a few sprays this morning as well, the Blue Stallion. But the Torrid Day, let's go back to the Torrid Day, which is, oh. It doesn't smell that bad from the cap, honestly. So this is Oriental Tobacco, the Dossier version, because I am so interested in layering with this fragrance because I don't mind tobacco notes that much. I actually kind of like them, um, but they cannot be tobacco centered. It cannot be at the forefront. Um, this is my injured Noxos. I still haven't learned how to pr uh, pronounce this. I, it took up the hugest tumble, but here we are. Oh, look at that. What's going on? And, but here we are. Um, no Noxos. I'm going to say Noxos. I'm going to say the X because anyways, this is a tobacco fragrance or it has tobacco in it anyways, but it is blended so beautifully. And, um, you know, I don't have the original Tom Ford tobacco vanier, so maybe that one is also blended beautifully, um, you know, enough for me to be able to to wear it. I don't, I'm, I don't have the original. And the this one as well kind of smells kind of like, yeah, no, I can't do it. I can't do it because it's too much tobacco for me. So if you are a fan, oh my gosh, and now I'm going to walk right through it. <laughs> if you're a fan of tobacco, you guys, then go ahead and rock this because, yeah, so this Torrid Day by um, Oaksha, I just kind of put it here on my hand and... I went about my business for a little bit and I was like, okay, we'll see if, if I'll put it in a sprayer to go for it, you know, really go for it. And I just couldn't. We have top notes of tobacco leaves, spicy notes. Yeah, that's spicy. Um, uh, mid notes, mid, <laughs> mid of vanilla, cacao, tonka bean, tobacco blossom, and base notes of dried fruits and woody notes. Okay, that's what we got going on in Torrid Day and Tobacco Vanier by Tom Ford. Um, I forgot who the perfumer was because Tom Ford is not the perfumer. He is the creative talent, okay? Um, but anyways, Oksha, Torre Day. I couldn't do it. I could not wear Testa for you guys. I'm so sorry. <sighs> People say that this is a very intoxicating tobacco, smoky, cozy fragrance. I even read a review that said like, you know, this would be one of those fragrances where it just reminds me of an older, very wealthy gentleman sitting and smoking a very expensive cigar on his, on his, you know, very expensive leather couch. So if that'll paint the picture for you. This is what I'm smelling. That's what's wafting up at me. Um, yeah, I'm not attracted to that. Some women, maybe definitely not me. Like I wouldn't buy this for my man. I would not want him to be smelling like this. Mm -mm. I'm more of a, you know, um, 
Armani Code Absolute, uh, which also does, I think it has a, to, you guys forgive me, but I'm going to spray this. I got him this for Christmas because I just thought it was the most amazing smell on earth. And I just wanted him to smell it because smell like it because his favorite or the one that I like on him is Armani Mania. Okay. I think. Oh my goodness. This is just nice. Maybe I should do a men's segment. Goodness gracious, you guys. If there are any men watching, this is a winner right here. Armani code absolute valentine's day is coming up ladies you might oh this would be a good one for your man so delicious this is the parfum uh version so it's not eau de toilette it's not oh my goodness this is so delicious gosh i i need to have a reason to go somewhere now just to spray it all over him yes okay because the other his his signature scent that's been his signature scent for years has been armano armani mania and so i just kind of feel and i'm not gonna i have none absolutely zero uh, juice of this to waste okay you guys i cannot waste this because this is discontinued <laughs> armani mania by giorgio armani okay discontinued I cannot and this is his favorite so I'll leave that alone and another one that is delicious is the stronger with you so maybe we'll do a Valentine's Day segment and I'll give you guys I have a couple also um, unisex fragrances that lean masculine that I am in love with so I can throw those in the mix as well and kind of go over them for you guys um, anyways let's get back let's get back here to Oaksha and the you know, I was like, okay, so I'm not going to wear test that, but I will go over it with them. Um, but let me go ahead and try Blue Stallion. And where is it? That, oh, there it is. So Blue Stallion. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. This is the Spirit of Dubai Maiden Blue Stallion. It's a green leathery tobacco is what this boils down to. And here we went again with the tobacco. I put this one on this, on this, uh, I went, I just really went for it with this one. And maybe that was the issue, but to, I'm not going to go over all these notes. You guys, like we're talking about a lot of notes, 10, 20, like 30 notes. Yeah, we got close to 30 perfume notes in this composite in the composition of this fragrance and when it sprayed at me you know maybe because I was still in in the tobacco you know the the torrid day kind of eh, I'm not I'm not able to tolerate it this one all I could smell was the tobacco and we do have tobacco in the mid notes and we have leather we have leather in the base and then we have vanilla and vetiver. You know, we have so many notes. It's unreal. Look up Maiden Blue Stallion uh, by, no, I'm sorry. The Spirit of Dubai. It's called Maiden. And this is a really close to $400 fragrance. I'm sure. Okay, so this very much leaned masculine in my opinion. In fact, it reminded me of my uncle who used to come, uh, I used to live in a really, really older, older style home with, you know, like the spiral staircase on the outside of the home. And um, so my uncle used to live up there and he would come down, you know, for showers and all that. And this just took me right back there. Oh my goodness. I was like, this is what my uncle used to smell like after his showers. Like, I don't know what he would use. I never saw the bottles. Wow, this reminded me of my uncle, you guys. And, you know, yeah. So, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't wear test that. Everybody in the office is going to be like, who's the new guy? You know, I don't know. It was just going to be weird. I just couldn't. I couldn't. And I was like, oh, no, it's Oaksha week. And after today, I only have um, Sweden to go over, which is the Baccarat Rouge by 40 dupe by Oaksha. So, yeah. I don't, I I only have a little bit of this one also. No, I have a lot. We'll do that one tomorrow. 
So for today, I was like, I, I was in a hurry. Now I was in a bit of a scramble because I was like, what am I going to wear to wear test? Because I want to wear something and I, you know, to, to, so I went for my brand new St. Bart's Vanille West Indies perfume that I got. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that I got, um, directly from the island. Can you believe this comes from an, a French island? called Barthelemy. Barthelemy. It's uh, located in the French Caribbean. So this is Vanille West Indies. I just received it but from Lene Saint Lene or Lange. It's L-I-G-N-E Saint Barth. It did come out in 2007 and it is usually always sold out. So you know I kept seeing it. I kept seeing it. I was like and I have an unboxing video actually if you want to go back and check that out because it was wild. It was wild. I have the box right here. It was wild. Let me put that down because it's really rare to me and very precious now. Small little box that came uh, with all this. Yeah, I don't know what that is. With all these Cheeto Puffs in here. Okay. Ah, let me not drop anything. My son. My son. My dog child. My dog son. Um, really went to town with those cheese balls. Or they're not cheese balls, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I was like, okay, I want to do at least a couple wearings before I give my final verdict on the St. Barth fragrance for everybody. So first impressions of today's wearing, and I'll wear it one more time before I go for my full-on video on Saturday or Sunday. We'll do it this weekend, um, so stay tuned. I did a couple spritz of this, and just to let y'all know, it is really thick and oily. I mean, this this fragrance is not messing around. Oh my gosh. And it's everywhere still. So I'll divulge a little bit of the longevity. It It is still here, very much here. And I am very much excited. And I decided also, as I was walking out, I was like, oh, what the heck, for good measure, I gave myself a couple spritz of this as well. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just so flabbergasted that I wasn't going to get to wear an Oksha today. But anyways, that's how it went. And so that's my review as on, on the Blue Stallion by Oksha and the Torrid Day. They do come in the sample pack and I wasn't able to wear a uh, Torrid Day. But if you, so if you you know, want to smell very, very, very rich and leathery and warm and, you know, supposedly the vanilla comes out later. I'm sorry, I did not get to that point where I would let the vanilla come out. Um, yeah, I don't even know um, if I'm ever going to be able to wear test this one either. And um, that's that on all of the, the you know, I wanted to go over the oak show with you guys, even though I didn't get to wear test it. And tomorrow, if you want to come back and see how Sweden did, I'm going to do my... FNK Syntology Baccarat Rouge 540 Cream with the um, original Baccarat Rouge. And then on the right side, I will do Cerave or, or Cerave. I'm sorry, I call it Cerave. And um, I'll do the, the Oksha version, which is Sweeven. So I'll talk about the notes, I'll break down the structure, and then I'll also talk about longevity, how long it lasted, how close it is to the original, but I want it fresh in my mind, I want to do a full day's wear uh, for you guys. Um, let me, before I go, because I gotta go, um, before I go, I do want to go over this uh, Juliana's perfume. We had Juliana's perfume week last week, and I completely forgot to update you guys. I told you guys that I was going to get on the wait list for Call Me By Your Name. I said, I need this fragrance. This is a winner This for me. Um, so Call Me By Your Name, right there. This is how the fragrances come with two samples, okay? This is Juliana's Perfume Update because I said I'm going to put myself on the wait list. I'm going to see how long it takes to get off of this wait list. Well, guess what? It took three days. Three days from the day that I signed up to join the wait list because this one was, was uh, out of stock. And I, ha I haven't gone to the website to see if it's back in stock or if they just go by a, a point or by wait list only. Um, it does come with two 5ml samples, uh, like I said. And it comes with a 2ml sample of 
So call me by your name, tester, try this first, okay? We kindly ask you not to peel off the protective film on the label of the big bottle until you've tried the tester and decided to keep your purchase. So if you ever receive anything from Juliana's Perfumes and the little um, label has been plucked, peeled off already, then you know that's not real, okay? I mean, it's not real, what am I talking about? Then you know that it's not brand new okay because that's their policy and i don't believe they'll sell it if they receive it back like that um you may return any unopened 50 ml bottle within 30 days of your purchase um every 50 ml bottle ordered includes a 2 ml separate sample so you can try each fragrance before making any commitment return any unopened 50 ml bottles you choose not to keep within 30 days and get a refund no questions asked what a lovely policy i never knew this about juliana's perfumes because i had never ordered directly from them and tell you the truth i still didn't <laughs> because even though i got off the wait list three days later i had already purchased a full bottle i i wasn't gonna mess around i wasn't gonna be waiting because I needed Call Me By Your Name in my collection. I wanted to have this um, beautiful fragrance. It's it's so gorgeous. This is the dupe for Gourmand Coquine. Oh, this is where the 2ML came. Behind the bottle, by the way. Woo, very nice. Oh my gosh. Hi, okay, it's the end of the day. Anyways, in fact, this would pair gorgeously with this fragrance, my goodness, with the, with the vanille, I'm more than sure. That thing, I don't know. I need at least four bottles of that thing is what I'm going to say. Oh my gosh. So this ugh, chocolate. This is chocolate. This is gorgeous. I have nothing like it. And it definitely earned a place in my collection. I highly recommend. You can go back and check out those videos for Juliana's Perfume Week. So you can see what I'm talking about. The other full bottle worthy fragrance was Red Carpet Affair which is the dupe for Angelique Nior, okay? So good, so different also. Very much definitely deserved a place in my collection as well. So, all right, you guys, I've rambled on long enough. It's dinner time. Hey, my lady. And we- Right when you said it's dinner time, the food's here. The food is here. <laughs> okay, you guys have a blessed night. Bye-bye.